Welcome to Acorn to Oak with Penny Quail Pierce and co-host Matthew Donaghy. Within each acorn, there is the DNA that strives to be a mighty oak tree. All it needs to reach its potential for greatness is to be activated. You are the acorn. On this show, we will share with you the tools and guidance you need to grow into the person you are meant to be. And now your host, Penny Quail Pierce and co-host Matthew Donaghy. Hello, good evening or good afternoon. Uh, it's Matthew Donaghy here. Um, Penny is, is currently uh, trying to connect to the uh, program. I'm sure she'll be joining me soon. Um, hope every, everybody had a good Thanksgiving over in America um, and that you enjoyed some nice family time off. Um, tonight we wanted to um, open the space up to talk about an experience that I've had recently. Um, and it's around manifesting things within your life and how when you do, when you're on that kind of journey and you, you're able to manifest things that you, you can't actually quite believe they're happening because they're so amazing. But when you look back at the process of what you've been working towards, you can see a clear path. Um, so... Recently, I've had an article um, released in a magazine called What Doctors Don't Tell You magazine. Um, and it's about a little bit around my story, um, the technique that we use, uh, which is breath for life, breath work, um, and a little bit of sort of background around it and what I'm doing currently now, which is running a clinic, um, doing one-to-one Skype calls, sort of coaching, um, <clears throat> and how this all started for me was very much um, when I met Penny and did my own personal work, um, I couldn't quite believe just how amazing it was, and my only frustration with breath work over the years has been that not enough people know about it and so many it can help so many people with so many different things um and during my journey um you're you're on a, a journey with very a large amount of people and the thing that i found so interesting is every no one had necessarily anything in common with what they were dealing with um as as people and personalities of course everybody got on and had a same sense of humor and that sort of thing but with what we were dealing with and some of the pathologies and emotional issues uh, whether it be from sort of like serious depression and anxiety to having dealt with sort of serious sexual abuse or marriage breakups and or large deaths within the family whatever it be breath work was just so effective with all of these different things um so I, Excellent. Good evening, Penny. Hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. Um, so I, I was just explaining a little bit about what the show's about and that um, the, the process, where the process started for me. Uh, yeah. Backwards. I think it, it's a really exciting time for you and... You know, the whole show is basically what don't what don't doctors don't tell you. Get my teeth back in. <laughs> um, and very much about you know the process of how you manage to use the law of uh, spiritual generosity to open up the space for this amazing opportunity. And, you know, it's about pursuing a very heart uh, held goal that you've been wanting to pursue. And I think most of the um, listeners will be really interested in that process. So I'm sorry I'm a bit late, but I've had a bit of a technical <laughs> problem. <laughs> pa Not a panic. problem. Um, just... Sorry. So, yeah, so to carry on, um, 
I, w I was just explaining that my, my only frustration around breathwork or breath for life breathwork has been like how do people not know about this like why 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 are people why is this not on the nhs why do the big um co corporations not know about it for sort of maintaining mental health within companies and um, and that sort of thing um and i guess it was around the same time that i made the decision that actually this is such an effective tool that i want i I want to train in this. I want, I want a career change. This is what I'd like to do because it, what better thing to do? It changed my life so dramatically. That's what I wanted to be able to do for other people. Um, so around that time, it was very much I, I had the passion around. And at the time, I didn't realise this, but I just thought it was frustration. But it wasn't. It was actually a passion for wanting something to be better than i could see it being right there right now um and that was to get the word out and to give as many people the experiences as we can um to help them change their lives as 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 we have and as i said i've met so many people on the journey that have dealt with so many different things um it it's just incredible it's almost like a one stop tool for for everything um and so I, th I think it was around that that my intention was i just yeah i would like to help as many people as possible get the word out to as many people as possible about it um mm. and just educate people a little bit more um because at first there was when you're trying something new you may be a little bit skeptical of something and, and this that the other and i was too but it, the first session blew my mind um so it, i would say almost from there i decided that i was in um <clears throat> but yeah it was very much around my my intentions always been around sort of helping as many people as possible or getting the word out mm. um and i think when something comes from being so pure and it's not about oh what well, i want to make um, loads of money from it um, I think it works very very well and that's something I've only really learned recently when I've worked to process back and really reflected on the whole process myself um, didn't actually realize that I was being sort of really really generous and had the spiritual generosity but when I work through it it actually shows me that that's very much what happened um, and it's, it's, I had to tell my story, obviously, for the article because it's about me, but that's not why I did it. Um, the idea for me was very much to get breath work out there and try and raise the bar a little bit on awareness and getting people to realise that there's a tool out there that can drastically change their life and change their experience. I think um, that's... Sorry for interrupting you. Um, I think no, that's okay. really important. And I think the thing is, and I know you come from the same page as I do, when you have a pearl beyond price that you know is going to empower other people, it's it's trying to get it out in a way that um, inspires people to try it for themselves. Yeah. And you know, I think you know, people who are listening will be just really interested in this concept of you know, because we did spiritual laws, but the one law of is spiritual generosity for me opens up the space and if you can be general you know generous to other people by sharing a gift that you know is going to change their lives it's it, it brings back a things tenfold so that's what um, 
I would like you to talk about a little bit on, on this show is the process of meeting this uh, journalist and what the, what was the process? Was it just a case of telling her your story? Was it the no bullshit that she got attracted to? Or how can other people use the law of spiritual generosity in order to pursue some of their goals? Right. Um, well, as I said, I, I've only really uh, noticed that it was what it was. I very much learned about this law myself. And my advice to people would be, be as genuine as you can. Like, don't change yourself in any way. Don't try and be a certain thing or be a certain way. Just be yourself. Just put yourself out there as you are, warts and all, and don't act up to anybody or try and impress anybody. Just be yourself um, because for me it was um, obviously starting um, starting my clinic and trying to get that going and do a lot of network meetings and that sort of thing um, and this particular one that I went to I wasn't going to go I had a real physical day that day um, and I was umming and ahhing whether to go because I hadn't actually sort of booked in I'd only seen it the day before and I just got a knock on the on the head and it was just like, no, you need to go to this. So I was just like, no. Nope. So I jumped in the car and off I went. And I uh, did, did an introduction talk and they said, and I think I ended up doing seven minutes because after two minutes they were like, no, that's, that's not enough. We want to hear more. Because it was just sort of one of those things where you put on the spot um, and it was like, right, well, tell us, tell us a bit about yourself. And I, I am a chatter. Um, I did performing <laughs> arts at college, and so I'd sort of stick me on the stage, and I'll, I'll just go for it. So um, I did just told them my story. It was real, genuine, really real. No frills. No sort of. Uh, over exaggeration it was just pure and that's what the journalist happened to be at that networking meeting and she said that's what drew her in she said because you were so so clear and passionate and happy when you were telling your story she said that you had me in tears yet you were smiling about it and she said it, it just drew her in um, because she said you could just tell it was genuine. Um, so I would say that's the the most important thing. And, and it makes sense with some of my path, because very much when I was younger, I was, you, you get told one thing and you see another thing, and it contradicts each other. And you think, well, am I crazy? Am I seeing this? Is this, is this me? Because they're telling me one thing, but I'm seeing something else. Um, well, mine went a lot deeper, so through my own self-discovery, it's kind of like I've, I've learned where the boundaries are very strong on sort of being generous and just being completely honest and not worried about, you know, you, you, you're always going to offend some, somebody, so don't worry about offending everybody. Um, it's yeah. just, just yeah. be yourself. I mean... We'll stay within boundaries. We'll speak French every now and again, but it's trying not to swear all the time. Um, I think things. it's really important. You know, obviously, I've known you for some years, but it's finding out who your authentic self is and then speaking from the heart. Yeah, very much so. And, you know, um, you know Having known you for that long, I have seen your journey and have 
been on, you know, on your rah rah team. You know, keep on going, Matthew. You're getting there, and let's go for it. And yep. what's the next passion? What's the next thing? And I think absolutely it. You have been doggedly determined. I think the word, you know, the statement is is doggedly determined to pursue what makes you passionate. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I feel, um, yeah, I feel real lucky, one, having known you, uh, two, having worked with you, also uh, stunningly amazed at the results that you're getting now in your life, which just shows that the proof is in the pudding. Yep. And, you know, to have yep. uh, nailed such a great publication as What Doctors Don't Tell You, which is really quite influential, um, obviously not with doctors, but... <laughs> <laughs> we can change but with that. everybody else <laughs> yeah but with everybody else and um it's it's basically you know really the power of breath work and particularly breath for life is is just um you know the proof is in the pudding and your article just shows you that you know the pudding is fantastic and it's tasty and it's glorious and it takes you to places that you just wouldn't have believed were possible yeah yeah absolutely and, and anybody could do the same um it's having a little bit of commitment and just putting it out there and doing the, the personal evolution, as we would call it. Um, so, yeah, no thanks to Penny and the team. But, yeah, we're going to a, a break, so we're going to obviously be talking a little bit more about the article and the different stages that I went on doing it. So we'll speak to you after the break. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Om Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Kathy Williams, host of Sexy Mom Abundant Life radio show on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. On the show, we explore living abundantly in every area of your life. Ways to let go of limiting patterns and beliefs and to step into the flow of creativity and possibility, knowing you are supported by the universe. We are talking about your life. Ever wonder, is this as good as it gets? No, it could be so much better. At Acorn to Oak, we know you are seeking more happiness, joy, unconditional love, financial freedom, passion, and purpose. Find your unique mojo and live an extraordinary life. Want to know more? Contact us at our website, acorntooak.org.uk. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your football buddy, your football buddy, or you, your best man, your worst man, you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. While one in three adults has pre-diabetes, with early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. So we're back. 
that uh, we're talking about what doctors don't tell you, an article that was put in um, the December issue, um, and it's about Matthew Donoghue, who is our co-host, and his story about how uh, he changed his life through using Breath for Life Breathworks. And it's really interesting because, you know, one of the things, um, obviously, I'm the founder of Breath for Life Breathwork, and it's really fantastic to get somebody who has worked with me for some years and then gone on and become uh, a practitioner himself. Um, he has a flourishing private practice, and he's gone on and has trained as a um, Breath for Life Breathwork um group facilitator and has just um ramped home and we've got the last weekend next weekend this weekend where he will qualify to be able to run groups and workshops and do more seminars so it's really a great celebration for him to have this um article written about him in a mainstream um magazine Called what doctors don't tell you and it's well, well worth a read and it takes amazing amounts of courage and vision and uh, vulnerability to be able to do what Matthew has just done so you know obviously I'm uh, he's been one of my students for years but that means nothing because as far as I'm concerned he is a trusted an amazing colleague. So, um, handing back over to Matthew. <laughs> yeah, hear, hear on that one. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, it, it really has been an interesting journey. And um, since having the network meeting, I didn't, I think, um, I went home and I'd had a couple of messages from various different people. Um, but didn't hear from the journalist until sort of three weeks after. Um, and she sort of said, oh, your story really, I've been thinking about it. And she said, I'd lo really love to write an article on yourself and breathwork um, for a magazine. And I've had a habit in the past of getting all overexcited about things. Um, and if not, if they don't necessarily work out, getting disappointed rather than seeing the learnings straight away and just thinking oh well it wasn't meant to be so the universe blocked it um so i tried to just be very chilled out when things come up and not get carried away with being overexcited. and this whole experience has been the complete opposite of what i'm used to so because i've applied this new way of looking at it and sort of really stepped back from things and gone oh that's really interesting I'd love that to happen. However, we'll, we'll see. And then just all just giving it up to the universe. Um, it's it's sort of it helps with not getting too excited and and then getting worried about things if they don't work out. Um, so, like I say, this to this process was totally different. And so, when she initially asked me, I was like, "Yeah, that that will be." sort of interesting, see how that works out. And we had a couple of chats on the phone and that sort of thing. And then she came back and said, oh, well, I've, I've written the initial article. Let me pass it over to you and you can sort of read through and then we'll, we'll put it in and, and see what they say. And so I have not a great knowledge around how long it takes articles to be published and what the processes are and all that sort of thing. So. I'm thinking, well, we'll see. It could be three, six months. You never know. Well, a week later, the um, journalist got back to me and said, well, I've, um, they've agreed to publish the article. Um, so it'll be going in the December issue. And I was, even though this was kind of like a big thing, you know, it was the part of me that was just sort of like jumping around thinking, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, I was still keeping a, keeping a lid on it and obviously knowing what we know about personalities and ego and that sort of thing it's just there can be times of just reining that in and just being not just making sure that you're still maintaining being genuine rather than letting ego getting carried away 
with it. Um, so for me, it was it was just yeah, trying to sort of each stage, it's just sort of it seemed to be getting better and better, and I'm so I'm thinking, wow, this is crazy. And then they said to me, right, well, what we need to do, we need to get a photographer out to see you, so we'll send somebody out. Um, so I said, yep, and they said he'll contact you with timings and that sort of thing. So we arranged to meet um, at my clinic at 11 o'clock, and it was only when he got there that he said, yes, we're going to need three or four hours. And I said, three, three or four hours? I mean, it, I was just assuming it was a couple of, headshots i mean what's what how how can it take that long and he said well it's a four page article so we're going to need to fill four pages and so again i'm thinking crikey well and i was talking to the photographer and he he does direct work for uh, what doctors don't tell you and he said do you, do you not realize what you what this is how big this is and i said well no i've got no idea really um, and that's been my experience all the way through this article that I th I've underestimated how big it is um, but it, it's been the most amazing experience and it's exactly what I've been trying to manifest and what I've been saying for the last few years and it, I'm just in the most amazing, incredible place at the moment because everything that I've been working on is is literally manifesting in front of me. And you think life can't get any better and then you manifest something like this. And then you, it's just a continuous path of what seemed like miracles. Um, yeah. And very much I've had the chat with Penny where I've sort of said I didn't realise how big a publication what doctors don't tell you is um yeah, it's I huge i had no idea how big this would be um i'm just glad to be part of it and to get the word out really i think it it's incredible and it's really great that um you know this has happened and uh, as i said you know your own spiritual generosity has led you to this opening up um and it is incredible when someone picks and uh in you know just recognizes who you are gives you a voice and enables you to to go for um a goal that you've held and you know maybe we should share that goal with uh, that goal with the, the listeners but the goal for you right here right now is to get breath for life breath work global and yeah. from my you know from my point of view it that makes my heart sing because you know my journey with breath work was very much um getting a pure system that works and empowers people and doing a lot of initial research and making sure that everything were, you know, all the, the I's were dotted and the T's were crossed to make sure it's a yeah, robust yeah. Um, uh, process, which will take a novice to an expert. And, you know, that has been my process. And I suppose being um, an educator, you know, uh, being a, uh, a teacher myself, it's making sure that that was very much part of the process. The handouts was, was sorted out, you know, running a few foundation courses and making sure that everybody got something from that process. In fact, you know, for me, it's about value, value plus. So that has been my part in the Breath for Life uh, breathwork journey. And I wasn't really focused on trying to get it to be a global phenomenon. That wasn't my uh, my focus. It was about helping in individuals and then going into companies and helping them. But it was, you know, it's been small piecemeal in, in some ways. And for me to now have someone who, who won, who I get on with incredibly well, who's my co-host on a radio show, who has this goal to take it global, 
I am just man. I am just 100% behind you. And uh, as you know, um, I did a podcast uh, yesterday with selfgrowth.com. And um, uh, David, who was hosting, hosts the uh, podcast there and is the founder of selfgrowth.com, basically just turned around and said, that was one of the best interviews I've ever done. He said, your enthusiasm is uh, off the Richter scale. And I know uh, that Matthew's enthusiasm and passion is off the Richter scale too. So, hey, uh, it, I feel like turning around and saying, watch out world. You know, breath for life, for, uh, breath for life, breath work is coming. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, and and that very much has been how I've I've sort of felt over the years. Um, that's been sort of part of my focus, um, without sort of realising. And I think when you I hope. Um... I hope either you can still hear Matthew or you can hear me because we seem to have gone, uh, lost the connection somehow. But I'll keep on talking. <laughs> All right, OK, so I'll, I'll keep on talking over the top of Matthew and, um, you know, it's uh, hopefully he'll get back to us and realise that his, um, maybe his microphone is off. Um, you know, for me, it's very much um, a clear cut pathway, you know, to personal evolution, as Matthew was saying, and from novice to expert. And, you know, this is Matthew's story. And I hope if you haven't uh, gone to um, Acorn for Oaks um, Facebook page, then you'll you'll find a link to the article there, or whether you're a subscriber to What Doctors Don't Tell You, then that's great too, because it's in the December issue, so it's a Christmas present for Matthew, basically. So, you know, but the publication is bigger, obviously, What Doctors Don't Tell You, it's it's a great resource because it's actually discussing a lot of different things which obviously doctors don't tell you and um you know some of them are really um world shattering and changing and giving you different options for uh treatments that may not suit you because the trouble is is we have a tendency to give our empowerment and our power to doctors and we expect them to uh, be able to give us good advice but some of the stuff they just don't understand and some of the you know they only have you know five to seven years to train and you know you cannot cover such a huge um subject of health and you know and well-being and spiritual health in that amount of time you know they do you know i have great respect for doctors uh but they are limited are you back matthew <laughs> no okay i'll keep on going so it's limited what they can actually give you and any advice that you they can actually give you so, you know, radio shows like On Times Radio is so important to be able to disseminate information which can actually lead you to a better uh, source of information or resource um, so that you can start uh, researching different ways of being yourself. Because, you know, the most important thing to remember here... Everything happens is... at the right time. <laughs> exactly, Matthew. <laughs> yeah. For me, all that, and it comes in naturally. Uh, um, so, yeah, so f from the... Your connection... 
connection is not great, Matthew, so you may well need to look at your um, speaker. You're phasing in and out, so that's why I'm still talking. So please uh, interrupt me when you get back again. So, <laughs> so as I said, you know, um, we are celebrating the fact that Matthew got his article um, uh, published. Can you it's not great, Matthew. It's not great. The connection is not great. So anyway, continue. Hear me? On. I can now. <laughs> are you talking? I can hear uh, you hello? breathing, but not talking. Hello. <laughs> Go. So anyway, uh, as I was talking, um, you know, very much part of this process is looking at opportunities that arise in your life where you can, without getting overexcited or uh, egotistical about it, being ready to take an opportunity that presents itself. And as I was saying earlier on, I did a podcast yesterday, which was fantastic, uh, with selfgrowth.com. It went well. We've had a lot of different hits. And, you know, selfgrowth.com is very much like Old Times Radio, has a huge audience. Uh, and it's just getting the word out that you don't have to be in pain. You don't have to be in suffering. There are other things out there for you. And it sounds like we're just going for a break, which is probably good, so that we can try and get Matthew back in the meantime. So we'll speak to you after. No, the like electricity. A conscious lifestyle. For a mindful life. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Om Times Radio Network. Hello, I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Om Times Magazine's flagship radio show, What is Going On? My passion is sifting through information, research, and innovations from new thought teachers, speakers, and researchers, pushing back the boundaries of what we know about life, energy, metaphysics, and the universe. I love shifting perceptions about who we are, why we're here, and how quickly impossible becomes normal when we open our minds, expand our awareness, and accept that the only limits that exist are those we place upon ourselves. So if you're the kind of forward-thinking, eager investigator of what lies beyond the current reality that most perceive, why not make a date to come play with me in the field of possibilities at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time every Thursday, and together we can discover what's really going on. We are talking about your life. Ever wonder, is this as good as it gets? No, it could be so much better. At Acorn to Oak, we know you are seeking more happiness, joy, unconditional love, financial freedom, passion, and purpose. Find your unique mojo and live an extraordinary life. Want to know more? Contact us at our website, acorntooak.org.uk. Long ago, you wouldn't think of galloping on a horse while doing calligraphy and you wouldn't have attempted to ride your bike while typing a letter. Yet you think you can safely operate a multi-ton vehicle while texting? Behind the wheel is no place to multitask. If you want to BRB, drive now and text later. Lives depend on it. Visit stoptextstoprex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, Noise, and the Ad Council.
So hi, we're back again, and hopefully Matthew's with us, and we can hear him. Um, so yep, I'm here. <laughs> it's just been one of those evenings. It's like gremlins are us. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just have to laugh and smile and go. You know, that's divine mother, divine father having a laugh. And um, I think, you know, very much for me is uh, it, it's the embracing the hilarity and, <laughs> and just going with it. So good to have you back, Matthew. So I'm handing over to you so you can have a little bit more of a chat because I was holding the fort earlier on. <laughs> yeah. So so when I when I really when it hit me when i when i was told the article was going to be published it it really hit me on just how uh i've managed this um and it sort of you have a little bit of fear up because you realize how big this could be for sort of the tool and sort of all the practitioners and that sort of thing and it it really does it brings up some emotional stuff for you and working obviously being an expert in that i was sort of working through some of it and it just it blew my mind to make to realize just how how you can completely change your life um as i've done and like i say anybody can uh, more i can do um very much getting out and inspiring people um, to do the same work. Um, some people have sort of said, "Oh, well, did you not? Did you not sort of worry about having a, a story about yourself being put out there?" And it's kind of me. I didn't didn't really consider it to be that that side of it, to be honest, because everybody has a story, and it's it's an honest story so for me there wasn't any worry there or anything like that um certain details that you leave confidential but it's very much about sort of you have to be raw and genuine because if you try and change your story then it's not genuine um, it's, it's not who you truly are no so and that's one thing that very much i have had people say is that it's the it's the fact that you're so genuine genuine and so passionate um and i think that for me it's kind of like we live in a crazy world and um it, people are di very different about uh, passionate about different things and whether it's sort of um looking after people or whether it's helping people move forwards or whether it's sort of changing the world trying to help with the environment whatever it is when you've got a real passion to help change a huge amount of people um that's where sort of all this has come from really because you like we do live in a crazy world where people would rather chuck pills down their throat and tell themselves for the rest of their life that that's just they're never going to get out of it rather than as we would say in the uk growing a pair and saying you know what i'm sick of being sick i have to do something about this um mm. and making the change um because that's very much what a lot of my clients say they got to a point where life just isn't good enough and a lot of these people as well they're very very wealthy people and they come in with the the answer that I've, I've got everything yet something's missing mm. it's kind of like i've got all the material things all the houses all the cars but none of that actually matters and i'm missing something and i don't know what it is mm. and it's because we haven't done any emotional intelligence work and worked out that if we did that's where true happiness comes from it comes with inside Side. Um, Will Smith did a bit of given up the responsibility of trying to make each other happy because they came to the conclusion, bang on, that they weren't, they couldn't make each other happy. And it's so true. 
Um, you have to learn to love yourself and make yourself happy. Um, that's one of the big keys in life. That's my wish for everybody. I wish you. So I can, that's one of the fundamental things that we I've learned along my breathwork journey is self love and where it comes from. So, and but yeah, as I was saying, it's like Will Smith did this great talk on it, um, and he's someone I think is so he'd be great to sort of have a chat too because he's done some real inspirational talks around sort of emotional intelligence and that sort of thing um and uh, yeah it's been it's been an amazing journey um and next year is is gonna really hype things up um so we've got a lot of big courses going on um and that's it's it's my dream coming true really um yeah it's 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 amazing and you know as, as people, some people are aware, you know, I also have the brand The Truth Is. And, you know, The Truth Is, and this is one of the things that we need to get our heads around, is that, you know, personal development and spiritual growth is outdated. Um, you know, in some ways, quite frankly, passe now. Evolution is the name of the, the thing for the future generations. And you need to ask yourself, are you going to join the truth tellers? Are you going to make the effort to do the work to become a beacon for the world? And, you know, if you're saying yes to this, then that's fantastic. You know, one of the things, um, as you heard, you know, uh, a, a week ago or two weeks ago, we were on retreat. And one of uh, the things that came out of the retreat was a lot of um, divine inspiration. It was high vibrational. And one of the things that came out for me was very much about being connected to the source. You know, the source being the divine, the source being your higher self, whatever makes uh, sense in your own frame of reference. And I suddenly looked at it and, and suddenly went, oh, it's about being sourceful, full of source. And, you know, straight away, I think of HP or tomato sauce, but, you know, maybe being sourceful, full of the source. And if you are sourceful, it's about being or being a guide for the world, you know. And if you can be a guide for the world and be the change that you want to see in the world, then you move from being an ordinary person into a superhero and you know one of the trainings that we have next year is called the fast track foundation course which is about uh it's 12 days of training and um 10 months of uh, uh skype sessions once a month to enable you to basically take what you're passionate about uh, and bring it together with your inner genius and your inner genius is part of the super conscious it's not part of the conscious mind it's not part of the subconscious mind it's part of the super conscious mind and you know therefore superheroes need to apply here you know apply for the the fast track foundation course because you know we'd love to hear from you we want to hear from game changers we want to we want to hear from people who are inspired to become a beacon for the world and we would love to get you on the fast track foundation course so that you can train uh in our methodology so that you can go from novice to expert and you know this is what Matthew is so passionate about, is to get as many people pos as possible trained up in emotional intelligence and trained up in Breath for Life so that we can go out and be of service to mankind. So, you know, I know Matthew sometimes looks at me and goes, my God, this woman can talk. She's incredibly loquacious. And I am because I have the I have the passion 
of, of trying to get this global too. Well, not trying to get it global, we'll go global. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's one of the things I've loved about the training uh, uh, across a few, uh, along the years. Always so, prefer there, and it's always. Are you with us? Can you hear me? Yes, I can now. <laughs> ah, good. Um, yeah, it's it's one of the things I've loved um, over the years because obviously with 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 thinking on when I was younger, I naturally had this sort of being down on self, and it's the one thing that every time something comes in and I achieve something, it's making me realise that actually I can achieve more. Um, mm. And we don't realise that we are all limitless and we all deserve the same amount of sort of success or achievement, however you'd like to see it. And it is within that super conscious that if you, if you clear your subconscious out enough to be able to pass into the superconscious without any blocks then you can download inspiration like very much like penny would say source and it's where that's where einstein would have downloaded information from that's where some of the great scientists over the years would have downloaded information from um it's just because we're not used to working with the superconscious mind it doesn't necessarily we don't know about it um but very much with the article and learning when you've got a pure vision you're unstoppable so we've lost you again matthew so it's yeah, obviously we're having problems with technology today so you know it's very much about finding out what makes you passionate and what type of uh life experience that you would like to have and like matthew has done go for gold and you know if you don't know how to do it i would say to you that we do and we're probably a good example of that and there's many, many great um, teachers and spiritual teachers out there. Find one that resonates with you. Find something that makes you, floats your boat, makes you passionate, rings your bell, however you want to put it. And, you know, for us, uh, it is breathwork and it is uh, the breathwork courses that we run. But then, you know, again, you've just got to look at where you're at, uh, what time you can commit. But this is a time right here, right now, leading up to Christmas and going into the new year. You know, it's 2020. I can't believe it. And, you know, 2020, make sure you invest enough in yourself so you become the person that you would like to become and if you have no idea how to do that get on a call with me or with matthew via acorn to oak um and, you know send us a, a bing us on our website and ask for help that's what we're here for you know we're not here to sell you things we're not here to bully you we're here as a resource and we would love for you to be able to take that resource. And you can also get in touch with us at breathwork.courses forward slash fast track. Because I must admit, if you're anything like me, I like things that work at speed. Um, I, I will laugh, you know. Matthew's into Formula One like there's no tomorrow, each to their own. But I also like things that work really quickly and have 
real consistent uh, resu results in the real world that, you know, are basically, um, it's, you know, full of speed, but it's also life changing and life enhancing. And, you know, breathwork is an action therapy. It's not a talk therapy. It's about, you know, we can talk and talk about things for years about losing weight or changing something at home or whatever it is. And we just talk and talk and no change happens. But when we take action, there is a reaction in the universe which causes a change. And that's what is life empowering and life enhancing. So, you know, again, I was hoping that Matthew might be able to get back onto the show for the last couple of minutes just to wind up. But I cannot hear him. So we would like he would, I'm sure he would love to send his best wishes. And we'll talk to you next week about something completely different. So I hope you have a great week and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care now.